We've all had to click this little box that proves we aren't a robot, and it always seems to let us pass without a problem. What happens if I use this old mouse keyboard emulation device to do the clicking for me? To allow for exact control with the device, I've had to disable the mouse precision option. Pushing the button begins a script that moves the mouse in quick, exact movements and clicks immediately once it reaches its destination in a way a human never could. It doesn't appear that reCAPTCHA has realized that I used an automated process to validate the test, but in truth it has noticed. We don't know exactly how it works, but we do have a general idea. Human mouse movements are only a part of how it tests for robot abuse. It is likely looking at things like browser cookies, browsing history, Google account activity, and several other more complicated analysis techniques. All of these are taken into consideration to determine if the user is not a human. My online fingerprint was obviously human-like enough for the system to overlook my occasional automated movements, but the longer these automated movements go on for, the more suspicious I become. ReCAPTCHA has finally caught on and flagged my account as suspicious, prompting the extra verification test. Even going back to regular clicking still requires me to complete a unique test. I've done this test a few times now before this, and it usually takes about one to two days of regular activity before I can get through the verification without the skill test. Check out this video to see a full demonstration of what this device can do.